Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to check out another of these brand new Marco Makes JP 30th Anniversary figures, and this one might be one of the most exciting because we've got ourselves a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and not only a Tyrannosaurus Rex, we've got Rexy, or you can use this as the Lost World Jurassic Park female Rex. Either way, we've got a female version of a T-Rex, and I am beyond hyped to have this one here because, of course, everybody loves Rexy. How could you not? not and uh I'm actually really excited to have a decent sized Rexy like this, like not super huge, but not super small because I've got the rubber source version. I've also got the mini source version. Now I've got the kind of in between sized version here of the T-Rex from Marco makes to add to my collection. And you can see that just like with all of the others, it comes with this beautiful box art. So we'll remove the T-Rex here for just a moment. And you can see the box art looks fantastic. Again, we've got that caution dinosaurs ahead sign there right in the front, which is such a cool way to kind of introduce yourself to the packaging as you dive further in you've got straight away like a caution sign there and you can also see again the marco makes logo as well as some slash marks and stuff and maybe even a little bit of dried blood we've got going on over here but as you lead further into the packaging first of all we have a little slip in here a little pamphlet we'll look at here in a moment but you can see that we have a nice earthy area down here with some footprints and then here on the back of the packaging you can see the jp 30th anniversary logo with the jurassic park gates and all sorts of vegetation as you lead into the island and then if we turn it around and you take a look at the back you again have the jp 30th anniversary logo as well as a paddock fence and some information on these figures and then of course down here a QR code so if you'd like to scan that that will take you straight to the social media outlets of Marco makes which of course you know one of the outlets for Marco would be the Etsy shop where you can purchase these but we also have this pamphlet again you can see we have that really nice logo there on the front pretty much the same sort of visual that you see on the packaging with the gates and everything and again the Marco makes logo this I believe was designed by Dino Mike Max so of course it's going to be very high quality very professional because he always has like some the most professional and incredible work that you'll ever see but here on the inside you not only have a checklist of all of the different figures and also a way to check them off if you buy them painted or unpainted but you also have you know images of all of the figures and all of them painted up here and this is the entire complete line of these 30th anniversary basic figures from Marco there are so many in this line so many yet that I have uh, to acquire and review for you guys as we have reviewed a few so far I think this will be the fourth potentially yes because we had the Compsignathus, the Carnotaurus, as well as the Ankylosaurus, and now we are on the T-Rex. So you can see we've got a lot more to kind of uh, dive into when it comes to these figures. But here on the back, you can also yet again see, you know, another image here showing off all of the different figures in this line of awesomeness from Marco Makes. So... As you can see, we've got Rexy again. We've got an unpainted version, and uh, I'm really excited to get some paintwork on this and take a look at how beautiful it looks once it's painted. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of Rexy, one of the most appealing things that you're going to probably notice about these figures pretty much right away is the fact that they are in a neutral position. And you can see the same can be said here for the head sculpt as the mouth is closed, the head is completely straightforward, there's no turn in the neck or anything. And that is because it gives you the kind of feel of having a maquette from the film and I love that because it's something that's kind of untouched when it comes to figures like this like you don't really see people make those maquette style figures very often aside from Nanmu who has just recently kind of gotten into that but uh, I really love that idea on the part of Marco and it 100% looks like it could be a maquette used in the making of Jurassic Park but you can see the head sculpt again sports that classic T-Rex look that you see from Jurassic Park really nicely done as always completely sculpted out with the absolute most screen accuracy as Marco is so good at doing that. You can also see the detailing there around the eye looks really nice. We have some beautiful skin texture. Again, if my camera would stop losing focus, you can see the teeth there, uh, you know, hanging off of the mouth as the mouth is closed. You can see, again, all of the nice detailing here for the lower jaw. If we turn it around and take a look at it over here, same thing going on. Again, really beautiful looking sculpt and beautiful looking detail through the course of the figure. Just so hyped to get some paint on this. It's going to be a lot easier to see once we actually get some paint work on it as well. But as you lead back here into the neck, you continue to see some nice kind of creasing and everything going on. Some nice skin texture as we lead down here a little bit further. You get some skin wrinkles.
wrinkles and stuff and as well as the throat of course of our t-rex as you move down a little bit further into the body you begin to see more of the really nice looking skin texture but you also see some of the bone structures you can kind of make out the shoulder blade there protruding from the skin as well as some nice muscle definition in the arms of our t-rex as you lead down you've got some nicely sculpted fingers nicely sculpted nails as well and then as we lead back up into the stomach region you can see the rib cage there protruding from the skin as well as some skin wrinkles and stuff back here as you lead down toward closer to the thigh and again really nice looking detailing as you move here toward the underside and of course Marco completely captures the likeness of the T-Rex perfectly as we have those larger scales here running along the underside that we all know and love when it comes to a Jurassic Park style T-Rex but if you lead back up here to the top again you can see the spinal column here moving along the back of the Rex really really incredible detail I don't know how good it's picking up on camera but in person it is absolutely phenomenal and of course you'll see that a little better when we do get some paint work on it but you can see the hip bone right there as you lead down into the leg you've got the nice muscle definition you can see the knee as well as a very large big bulging calf muscle and again some really beautiful skin texture as well as you lead down through the course of the leg and then as we lead down into the foot sculpt it really doesn't get much better than that when it comes to a Jurassic Park T-Rex foot sculpt it honestly almost looks exactly like the foot that you know plants down into the mud right as they're trying to get Timmy out of the Explorer you know perfectly recreating the foot sculpt of a JP Rex and you can see the nails they look really good as well like they genuinely have a sharp sort of appearance to them which is really cool and then as you lead back up here toward the tail you can see more skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff as you lead out toward the tail you can see creasing running along the top kind of running along the spinal column as well as you lead out into the tail you can see a very slight curve to the tail but not a whole lot going on as far as the curvatures again giving it that very maquette like look as you lead out toward the tip of the tail and the detailing on the underside looks great honestly everywhere not just there in the stomach leading into the chest you can see it is phenomenal all over we also have the Marco Makes logo here on the underside of the foot. As you lead back up here toward the chest and the throat and everything, you can see it all looks really, really nice. And of course, we're going to see the same thing over here. You're not really going to see much of anything different because the Rex is in a totally neutral position, so there wouldn't really be any difference on this side compared to the other side as far as the fine detail goes, or at least not a whole lot. Of course, I'm sure there's some minor details. It wouldn't be an exact clone since Marco has to sculpt the entire figure out himself, but it would basically look the same over here compared to the initial side so this is the point of the review where we're going to go ahead and get some paint work on this beauty and we'll check it out from there so here is my fully finished and fully painted t-rex and you can see it turned out pretty nice i think i definitely like it and of course you know that as always has a lot to do with Marco's amazing sculpting skill because without the Rex looking, you know, really beautiful, really accurate, the paint job just wouldn't look so good. And uh, again, it's definitely like I would say one of the coolest things you could possibly own if you are a fan of Jurassic Park because it really does kind of replicate that perfect sort of like smaller shrunken down maquette. And that's something that if you are a fan of Jurassic Park, you've been, you know, seeing like video and images of for years, ever since originally, you know, Jurassic Park had come out, you had always seen a lot of shots of those really cool maquettes and stuff from Stan Winston Studios. And I know at least that's the way it is for me. And it's something that I've always just really wanted to own would be a maquette from the Jurassic Park franchise. And again, I think it looks really cool. Once it's actually painted up, you could see it just absolutely comes to life and even if it does have that maquette kind of stagnant like look the sculpt is so good that at the same time it does have a good amount of life to it so it's kind of like i would say the best of both worlds definitely one incredible t-rex figure that is for sure and it's a rexy model that's not absolutely massive so as you can see again it's something that'll be pretty convenient to fit into pretty much any collection but you guys will definitely have to let me know if you think my paint job looks good if it turned out okay or not you know since i did it i really can't be the judge but i'm pretty happy with it as far as a size goes on our rexy for a length you are looking at about the uh, i would say a little over nine and a quarter approaching nine and a half inches or right around 24 centimeters and then for a height to the top of the neck about three and a quarter inches or a little over eight centimeters maybe approaching eight and a half but not quite there 
for a size comparison. There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Marco Makes JP 30th Anniversary Basic Tyrannosaurus Rex, the female version. And you can see again, they show off the fact that this Rex isn't large. You can see it's obviously nowhere near the size of the Papo T-Rex. But like I said earlier, that definitely shows you also that this is a really nice, really conveniently sized T-Rex to add to your collection if you are looking for an extremely screen accurate version of a Rexy. This is definitely a good way to go. And then if you happen to have the Captive's supersized Jurassic Park 30th Anniversary T-Rex, you can get a pretty good idea of the size of that figure here as well next to our Rexy, showing you that obviously the Marco Makes Rex is a bit larger and, uh, that also shows you that, you know, it's not exactly what you would consider a minifigure, like a medium-sized ranged figure. Eh, kind of more like a, on the smaller side for a T-Rex, but still by no means a minifigure. And then for an interesting comparison that actually kind of threw me off, we have the Carnotaurus from the JP 30th Anniversary Basic Figure line next to the T-Rex. And shockingly, you can see the Carnotaurus is a little bit larger well, actually, maybe even more than a little bit. Like, it definitely has a decent size on it next to the T-Rex. So, very impressive to see that the Carnotaurus is a bit larger than the T-Rex. But this also shows you that they look super, super cool together. Then we've also got the 30th anniversary Marco makes basic Compsognathus next to the T-Rex as well. Just for one final comparison to continue to give you an idea of the size. You can see the Rex is a little shorter than the Compi, but pretty similar in size I would say overall. So this brand new Marco makes JP 30th anniversary basic version of the T-Rex is absolutely phenomenal. Even if it is a little bit smaller than some of the others, the sculpt is absolutely gorgeous. He has definitely, as always, done his homework when it comes to the sculpt of his Tyrannosaurus. And you can see that as you move through the course of the entire figure, it looks great when it comes to not only the fine detail, but of course the actual screen accuracy. It 110% looks like it could be a maquette that was used in the making of Jurassic Park. Again, the detail is just so good on this. And of course, you can purchase this painted or unpainted. The version that I have here is the unpainted version, and now it's painted, but it was originally an unpainted version. So you can go ahead and get one unpainted like I did and paint it up yourself. Or, as always, you can have Marco paint it up for you. That's really up to you and your preference. But either way, no matter what route you go, you're going to get yourself a really, really cool Jurassic Park style Tyrannosaurus Rex. So if you are interested in grabbing one of these, I will include a link in the description to the Etsy shop of Marco Makes where you can score yourself this absolutely beautiful T-Rex along with many other in this line again as there are a lot of different species to choose from as we had seen earlier in the review. So make sure you check those links, check Marco out on all of his social media accounts, grab yourself some amazing JP 30th anniversary basic figures and also like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.